Hi, I'm Alexandria. Hi, I'm Liz. And this is Art Lab, a place to explore and create with art. Let's go. In this episode of Art Lab, we will be exploring and creating our own color wheel. Today we'll be exploring the amazing world of color. Did you know that colors are related? Let's see how. There are three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. These can be mixed to make the other colors of the rainbow. When you mix yellow and red, you get orange. Red and blue, you get violet, sometimes called purple. Blue and yellow, you get green. These colors are called secondary colors. Using primary and secondary colors alongside black and white can make almost any color in the world. Color wheels are a great way to see the colors and how they are related to each other. Now it's your turn to make your own. Let's get started. First, let's start by finding a nice workspace. It doesn't need to be fancy. All you need is a table and a place to sit. Make sure you're comfy. Next, let's gather our supplies. You'll need a piece of blank paper, a glue stick, scissors, and you need some color for your color wheel. Look through old magazines, junk mail, and scrap paper. You'll also need a template. You can download ours from the description down below, or you can use a round object and a ruler to copy ours. Once you have your supplies, you're ready to go. To start, we need to either print our template, or you can draw yours by tracing anything round you've got around the house. Try a mouse pad or a clock. Look at the template. We have to see how you should label each section. Remember, it doesn't need to be perfect. Once you have your template, let's get to the fun stuff, color. Grab your old magazines or junk mail, and we're gonna start our search. Look for each of our colors in our color wheel, and you might find more than one on each page. Are you having a hard time finding a certain color? We will learn about shades and tints in a different episode, so don't worry if your colors don't match 100%. Variation is good. When you found a color you need, cut it out. Sort your cutouts by color. As you do this, think to yourself, what do you notice about the colors? Are all the greens the same? Even though some of those are different, can we still call them green? What do you notice about the paper? Is it shiny? Is it matte? Do you like the way it feels in your hand? Do you have a favorite color? What does it remind you of? Do you think of a certain taste or smell when you think of that color? Once you have enough color, you can start gluing them down to the correct area of your color wheel. When you begin gluing down your pieces, you'll notice that you may have to cut them to fit in the little pie piece shape on your color wheel. It's kind of like making your own puzzle, except that it's okay if you overlap the pieces. Don't worry if you don't stay within the lines either, unless you want to take that on as a challenge. By gluing small pieces of paper together, we are creating a collage. Collage is a French word that means gluing. When French artists, such as Picasso, began making these collages, they became popular, and the word entered into English as a name for this type of artwork. Once you've glued down your pieces, you're almost done. The last step is to sign your artwork. Be sure to add the date. Let's ooh and ah at what we made. Take a moment and appreciate what you created. Not a single other color wheel is exactly like yours, and that is special. Find a place to keep your color wheel and let it inspire you. So now here's the secret about the color wheel. It's a tool. We can use it to help us make art. See, if you want to help identify a color, use the color wheel to help you see where that color lives. If you can't tell, try squinting your eyes and see if that helps you decide. Now that you have some experience with color, why not try to arrange your books or toys by color? Try arranging your dinner plate as a color wheel. How many colors can you eat? If you try this out and want to share, we'd love to see what you come up with. Use the hashtag LBPLArtLab and don't forget to tell us your process. We want to try it as well. That's it for today. If you want to explore more about color, check out the link in the description down below. This has been Art Lab, brought to you by the Long Beach Public Library. See you next time.